Aries, welcome to your love connection reading for December. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by, whether you're new or returning. Thank you. This reading uh, is for any kind of connection that you have right now. It could be somebody, um, any kind of connection basically it has to be an actual connection. If you're uh, thinking of someone at this time, but they have no clue who you are, then you may want to watch the singles reading I do every month. So this has to be some form of a connection you feel that you have with somebody, whether you're together or not. So please keep that in mind. Please take what resonates, throw away the rest. It's a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading. Um, switch, you know, switch the energies anytime you, you see fit. And we're going to look into here now, whoever you're thinking about at this time, we're going to look into how you're feeling about each other and the connection, uh, your actual situation, advice for you, possible outcome, all clarified with uh, tarot. We'll have some oracle cards also on this, so please stay tuned to see the whole picture, the whole story. If you clicked on the title, then there's something in here that will probably resonate for you. All right, so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, Aries, happy fall, happy um, December. Okay, so this is for any time you see this until whenever. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be just for December. I do consider all my readings timeless, though they are dated. That's just to put them in the order they were uploaded. So uh, please keep that in mind. If you want to go back and watch past readings, then please feel free. All right, Aries, 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 Aries. Uh, Aries playlists are in the description box. Aries, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. We have Sagittarius, so you're dealing with another fire sign, perhaps? If not, totally fine. Or, I don't know, maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. Or maybe they, if they're not a sun Sag, they could be um, um, rising, moon, Venus, or something like that. Or just have it heavily in their chart. Oh, two fire signs, okay. Again, they don't necessarily have to be a Sag, so don't just get discouraged with the reading. All right, so let's see. Let's get an overall love energy between you and your person at this time that you're thinking of. What is the current energy between Aries and the person that you're thinking of for this love connection reading at this time? What is the energy at this time between Aries and your person? And we have take action. Okay, somebody needs to take action in this connection. Somebody needs to take action, whether it's you or them. I feel like nobody's taking any action, obviously, because it says take action. So if you're wondering, gee, should I take action towards this person? Probably yes. Or if you're waiting for them, if you feel like that's best, are they going to take action towards me? They could be thinking about it here with take action. All right, so let's get one card for you, one card for your person. I'm going to put you here, Aries, and your person there. But if you feel like this side is you, that side's them, then please, like I said, switch and flip-flop the energies at any time. All right, so Aries. All right, let's see. How are you feeling? Success. Ooh, so you're feeling like this could be very, very successful with an exclamation point. And they're trying to stay positive. So, oh, they want you to remain positive. If there's no communication, if there's no talky-talky right now, or um, things are kind of like slow between you or nobody's taking action, uh, you're feeling like this can be a very successful connection with this person. You're definitely feeling that. And they, they may not be telling you, but, you know, they may be sending you those vibes like just stay positive. Maybe they just can't take action right now. So, or they could be telling you, just stay positive, you know, our time will come, you know, when I can take action, but right now I can't, you know, however that resonates for you. So just, they want you to know, just stay positive. Just stay positive. All right, let's see what's on the bo bottom of the deck. Choose a new direction. Hmm. And under that, we have communicate clearly. So, huh. It could be that um, they are choosing a new direction, and it could be towards you, but maybe they aren't telling you. And that's why we have communicate clearly here, because they're not really telling you their intentions. 
their direction, their action. And, you know, they probably need to do that so you know what's going on, but maybe for some reason they can't. Maybe for maybe they're stuck in a situ situation right now. I don't know. Okay, so... Actually, I'm trying to get out of the habit of saying I don't know, because we will find out here. It's a bad habit. <laughs> I, have. I don't mean it like I don't know. I just mean it like we haven't found out yet, and we will find out what's going on in this situation. Are you Aries? Aries. All right, one more shuffle. Okay, so Aries, let's get a card for success here. Let's get a card for success here for Aries. Why is success here for Aries? The Eight of Wands. So that's five, I'm sorry about the glare. I don't usually record in the middle of the day, but I'm off today. So we have the Eight of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. So there's all that fire energy. So communication, and we did have communicate clearly here. So the Eight of Wands is very passionate communication. It's travel, action, movement. There will be successful forward movement here. And you know that, you could feel it coming. You want that with this person. You want that passionate communication. You wanna know what's going on. All right, so let's see what this remain positive is. Remain positive with your person. The two of wands. So yeah, this is um, making plans, decisions for the future, moving forward. So choose a new direction here. So this person is making plans in a new direction here to go in a new direction, I feel like from where they are now. So, I mean, you see this woman is holding, looks like a skeleton. So whatever situation they're in now, I think is like dead. It's, you know, skeleton there, it's dead, it's done, it's over. But for now, I think until they come out of that situation fully and are totally free from that, then they will communicate, they will choose a new direction. They are choosing a new direction. They're making plans, doing what they need to so they can take action towards you. Aries, or vice versa here, however energies resonate for you. Uh, male, female, doesn't matter. Oh, that's too many. Let's get a couple more here to clarify. Let's get one to clarify the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Oh, we got Angel de la Nui here. So this is the angel um, of faith, hope, optimism, of transformation. Um, of wishes and dreams coming true. So yeah, and this is remain positive. As dark as this angel helps you get through the dark of the night or the dark, even uh, dark night of the soul or whatever here. This could be a twin flame situation here. So this angel is telling you that the light will come at the end of the darkness that remain positive, have that faith, hope, and optimism. Wishes and dreams will come true. There will be light at the end of the uh, darkness. You see all the light here, 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 here. All right, so, wow. Okay, so again here, we have the page of wands. So here is that communication, that fiery, passionate communication as we have communicate here. So I do feel like once they can move and take action in the new direction, which I feel will be towards you, you both are looking the same way here. Male, female, doesn't matter. So you both are looking in the same direction. So yeah, they will be communicating with you when they are, they are able to. Their passion, their excitement, their uh, offers, you know, you know, just communicating how they feel what their plans and desires are with you moving forward. They have to release what's dead and gone there with the skull. They're still looking at it, so they're still dealing with it, whatever the situation is. Okay, so let's get the actual situation. It's too many. Let's get the actual... <laughs> Just want three at the most for now. The actual situation for you... Aries, 
Oh, we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it makes total sense. And the Six of Wands. Wow. So, the actual situation here connecting to you is the Ace of Cups. So, here's a brand new beginning in love. So there definitely is love here, and you're wanting this brand new divinely guided beginning in love with them for the future moving forward for the long term. This is something very uh, divinely guided, and on their side, it's six of wands, so this is success, victory, and usually in a regular tarot deck, you see the six of wands with the um, wreath on the wand as like an offer, so the six of wands can represent an offer coming in, so there will be communication communication with an offer of some kind it could be engagement it could just be an offer of let's get together let's date let's go on a date let's get to know each other let's up the relationship of some kind let's date exclusively whatever whatever it is for you communication of leveling up to success and you have success right here under you and now they have it on their side so this brand new beginning in love will be successful, but for right now, right in the middle of the spread, right in the middle between the two of you is the four of pentacles. So this is an energy of holding back yet holding on. And four is about stability, foundation. So yeah, <coughs> see my throat. So the communication here will be coming in soon. But for right now, there's a need where people have to hold back from one another you have you know there's an energy now holding back from one another <coughs> yet still holding on to the connection because this will be a, a, a successful divine divinely guide a brand new beginning in love for you Aries and I need a drink <laughs> all right so let's get a couple more let's get a couple more Okay, so we have the uh, Knight of Wands energy here, and we have the Five of Wands. So a lot of fire, and we have all this fire here. So yeah, Knight of Wands taking action, taking action, coming forward, uh, passionate action, movement forward. So yeah, so coming forward passionately with communication and an offer of love and passion. But right now, five of wands is conflict, can be conflict from within or outer conflict. So I feel like they could be in a conflicting situation, either you or them right now, which is preventing them from truly moving on and moving forward with you, with the success and victory and the brand new beginning of love, coming forward with that passionate, loving action and offer, and then making plans for the future. You're wanting that. You're definitely wanting that. But they may be going through something very conflicting. And again, you see these two people here that look very, very unhappy. So whatever situation they're in now, they are not happy. And then the process of letting go of that skull there reminds me of the death card. Um, letting go of what's dead and gone This in the process of doing that right now. All right, so if you're wondering what's going on with them, like, are they really going to leave that situation? Are they, is it really over? I'm thinking yes, but for some reason they can't tell you that right now. All right, because I think it would just cause conflict in their current situation. So the best um, thing to do right now is to um, just stay clear so they can start their, their stuff out. So your advice here is, wow. So we got the Five of Swords and we got the Tower. Now the Five of Swords can represent, you know, coming from a place of ego, getting ahead at all costs, and you don't care who you do it to, how you do it. It's just for you and what you want, and you just don't care. And then the Tower here, and that's Aries. So this is definitely your advice, Aries, is not to do anything here out of ego, fear, um, whatever here because it's just gonna cause this tower moment, this explosive energy. Um, it may ruin the whole situation for you if you decide, well, I'm just gonna rush in to them or the situation, confront them, confront their person, whatever. Don't do anything like that because then things just may crumble down around you and then you may regret it later. So don't get in that energy of the Five of Swords because 
things won't be good with the tower energy there. That's definitely your energy. All right, so, so far for signs, we have Leo, Sag, Aries. We have, we don't have any major arcana. And the An Angel Day Lanui is just a bonus card, and there's no sign associated to that. Um, let's see, Page and Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. So, yeah, just a lot of Leo, Sag, Aries right now. I mean, we do, don't have, we have... We have all of them here uh, anyway, but for court cards, basically right now, it's just Leo Sagittarius, so, and no major arcana yet. So, except for the tower. Yeah, the tower here. So, avoid any kind of conflict, any kind of energies that will cause things to crumble down. The devil. Yeah, toxic energy here. Capricorn. So now we have another major. As soon as I said no majors, of course, Spirit's going to throw me some majors. So the devil, Capricorn energy here. Yeah, don't get in that negative toxic energy of just, I just gotta, I'm just going to rush in and cause this, you know, confrontation tower moment. It's just going to cause a lot of bad energy, toxic energy. So don't do that. <laughs> Avoid that at any cost. Avoid any kind of confrontation with them. Stay to yourself. I, I do feel like they're trying to release themselves. They could be in a toxic situation here. As I had said, the skull there, well, reminded me of the death energy, but that's the devil, but still. And now we have the page of swords. So you may be keeping an eye on them on social media or them on you back and forth. This is, you know, maybe learning things online. I don't see how that would fit in here. But this is truthful, honest, open communication. Page is all about communication. So, and again, what the community, so I do think truthful communication will be coming in, but you just have to wait. You just have to wait. If you're in this energy now of, I just need to just confront this whole thing, I don't care. I would suggest not doing that because everything's just going to crumble down around you. Wait for them to come in with their truthful communication when they can take action towards you. Because you have Communicate Clearly and the Page of Swords. So they just want you to remain positive. Remain positive. They will be taking action, but they need to release whatever it is they're going through right now. Oh, what's this? I got a clump of cards going the wrong way. All right. Let's get more. Yeah, so basically what I just said for your advice is the Seven of Pentacles energy is about waiting, patiently waiting. You know, invest investment here and waiting for your crop to flourish. So you've invested time with this person, but now this is telling you just to wait patiently. There's a need to wait patiently and just concentrate on yourself, the Nine of Pentacles. Remain stable, secure, and abundant. Now look at all this light energy as compared to all this dark energy here. So, so actually, this is your outcomes. I already did clarification for your advice. So outcome here, yeah, is you'll be waiting. You'll be waiting and concentrating on yourself, overcoming all that dark energy. As much as you may want to confront this or move forward, it's not time yet. So waiting and concentrating on yourself. Um, you know, remaining positive. So coming out of the dark into the light. Becoming abundant, secure, and safe and stable all on your own two feet. So let's get one, one more for the outcome here. The moon. So, yeah, listening to your gut and your intuition and your higher knowing. Knowing, you know, finally realizing, you know, confrontation maybe just isn't not the best thing so i need to listen to my gut my intuition my higher knowing the moon is also about not even though you may not see things clearly right now or they may be not telling you things with the moon because the moon i mean it can be secrets but not necessarily it could be just the energy of um you know not telling you things right now because they can't so you're feeling you know, like disillusioned and not knowing all the facts because they can't right now. But 
But until they're able to uh, just concentrate on yourself, you're just going to have to wait for them if that's what you want, if that's what you want to do here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Ten of Wands, so releasing burdens, things no longer serving, fire energy here. A lot of fire, so definitely here. So I do believe they're releasing the burdens now that are no longer serving you. Them, Queen of Cups, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So they could be releasing a water sign here. Or this just male or female could represent the love and emotions between the two of you with the Queen of Cups. Temperance here. Again, about balancing energies. And there's a Sagittarius energy coming through. So this is time, patience, healing, balance. Uh, temperance angel here brings the soulmates together. So I do feel like you're dealing with a soulmate. And when the time is right, this will come together. You're just going to have to wait again. And the Knight of Swords here, taking action. And there's that, you know, don't do anything reckless. That will cause trouble as I'm getting over here with the five swords in the tower. Because sometimes the Knight of Swords is like a rebel. They can be reckless, moving forward without really thinking. You know, think before you take action. Do I, should I really do this? Really think clearly first before taking any kind of action. And this is also, them could be taking action when the time is right. Right now they're just thinking, contemplating, and not really taking action. The Hermit, yeah. Keeping to yourself. Virgo energy here until they can come to you. You know, thinking, contemplating, finding your light from within, your way, um, being divinely guided, doing that inner search, inner soul searching. Could be you, could be them, both ways here. Yep, standing up and fighting for what's right to the Ten of Cups, total happiness and joy and fulfillment in every single way standing up and fighting for that so defending it so you know you may want to rush in and defend the ten of cups with this person but no you need to spend time on your own with the hermit here waiting before you take action balance time uh healing energy soulmates will come together there is love or they could be releasing a water sign and burdens no longer serving. So we're going to go over um, this deck here, get some energies from this deck. But before I do that, Aries, if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, you'll get four readings a month. You'll get a love connection reading. You'll get a singles reading who's coming towards me. You'll get a general tarot forecast. Sometimes it's about love, sometimes not. And then spirit messages, what spirit wants you to know at this time. So if you are interested in all those readings, please do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And please check the description box below for any and all information that you need, how to book a personal reading, uh, decks I'm using, so social media, tons of stuff down there. So please, please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And just thank you to everybody who's a supporter, who has supported the channel in any way, whether you've uh, reached out for a reading, donated, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you to everybody for the support and helping the channel to grow and flourish, being a part of that and helping me to get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. People don't realize that if you don't like, subscribe, comment, share all that good stuff, videos do not get circulated. Messages do not get out to the people that need to hear them. And it's very, very hard for your channel to grow and YouTube will not circulate your channel or your readings. So please keep that in mind. Thank you so much again for all the support. Okay, Aries, what do we have? Loss, grief, sadness, resurrection. So again, and we have 20 there, which is two, which is about unity, people coming together. So yeah, loss. They definitely are going through a loss right now. Um, grief, sadness. So maybe they're feeling that. You could be feeling that because you're not with your person right now. But resurrection, things will resurrect between the two of you. Just have to remain positive and just wait until they're able to come forward or vice versa. So let's see. Anything else for Aries? So we have remembrance here. Resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. And we have 21 there, which is three, which is about um, 
socializing. It's reuniting, coming back together, rejoicing, celebrating. I think once you come back together with this person, you're going to remember what it was like to be with this person. All those feelings, emotions, if it's been even a very long time, even if it's been a couple of years, a couple of months, whatever. Once you come back together, all those emotions and feelings are all going to come back of how you felt with this person when you were together. It could be very emotional. When you come back together, you see all the water here and all these different colors. So it could be, you know, very emotional, a lot of different feelings coming to the surface. So keep that in mind. Let's see what we have at the bottom. Apprehension, moving out into the world, doubt, fear, 18, which is nine. And nine, you know, has a lot of different meanings in tarot, which is dreams coming true, being the wounded worry, but you keep fighting on. It can be about stress, anxiety, um, and what's the other one? Do, 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 do. Being stable, grounded, all on your own, independent. So so you may have some apprehension about this, like, is it really going to happen? Are we going to come back together? You know, they're apprehensive right now because of what they're going through. But all the energy is here if you wait patiently. If that's what you want to do for this person, I do see two soulmates coming back together. And there being a lot of love and passion you have the ace of cups here so a lot of love between the two of you divinely guided brain new beginning in love between two soulmates but it's up to you whether you want to wait or choose a new direction but i do feel like they are going to choose a new direction towards you and communicate clearly when they are able to once they release whatever they're going through or vice versa if that's you them whatever here those are the energies so, okay aries um best of luck to you here Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I always shine my light so that you can shine your light. So don't ever, ever forget to shine your light.